I'm currently hiding because uh, the military uh, raided my house at the first day of the protest. They interrogated my wife and my mother. Since then, I relocated myself in different places every night. During most of modern history, up through the mid to late 20th century, the main way in which democracies died was through some kind of violent break with the past. The military out on the streets with the tanks and the guns overthrowing democratically elected governments. First of all, he occupied the institutional system. Prosecutor's office, therefore, there can be no high-level investigation started in government-related corruption. They started to buy media outlets one by one. They have different um, tactics. If they can buy one media, they are buying. If they intimidate the other one, they are intimidating. And if they close one media, they will close it. These days, democracy doesn't die suddenly. It dies silently and incrementally as elected leaders like Viktor Orban in Hungary. Rather than autocrats violently overthrowing democratic regimes, they come to power through the ballot box. And rather than ending free and fair elections, they gradually undermine the norms and institutions of democracy from within. You wake up one day, the system looks the same, but deep down, the system has been turned inside out and transformed from an electoral democracy into a competitive authoritarian regime. This is how democracies start to die, that when you just don't dare to open your mouth. 